So the flower whistle has gone at the Majeski and Blackburn Rovers. They've got their hands, or they've got their, not their hands, they've got their asses absolutely spanked by Reading, of course. The Reading Royals royally absolutely ran right over Rovers in a performance that uh, isn't worth is it worth bloody uh, 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 taking the trash out? Absolutely garbage, FC. I've seen better. I've seen a better performance from uh, from uh, from myself uh, doing the dishes, and I'm an absolute shit at doing the dishes. So Rovers, despite going into this match top of the table, winning three from three today was a mother in rude awakening. That's right, Rovers were garbage, and it wasn't even like it was a close game. Reading were 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 far better organised, well structured. They come into this though on the back of that defeat to to Rotherham. They're spanking by Rotherham. A lot of fingers to blame. We're pointing at Lumley, pointing at Ian Ince, uh, of course, but they were absolutely organised, drilled, ready for everything. That uh, Rovers can throw at them. But to be honest with you, we hardly threw anything at them. To be honest with you, some question marks will, will be pointed at Yondar Thomason's team. But, uh, you know, starting Vale uh, was, a, was a bit of a weird one. Uh, who else got the nod as well? Yeah, dropping Gallagher, starting Dolan. Uh, Hedges wasn't even in, in, the, in the 11. So, and again... I can see, I can see why he's doing that. Is a threadbed, threadbare squad, um, but and the games are coming thick and fast. It's pretty much two games a week now for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so it's not, it's non-stop football for Rovers. But we were absolutely outfoxed, and again, a lot of the Rovers fan base out there pretty much expecting us to guarantee three points. Everyone was expecting to guarantee three points. I was a little bit pessimistic or a little bit uh, uh, realistic heading into this, thinking that it might be a tough game. And if you actually watch my preview, I went with a draw, and that was me being coy. I was thinking, you know what? Because our results, our recent form against Reading has never been good. And today was a prime example of that. We've been outthunk by a bloody a Reading managed by Paul Ince. Of course, he was absolute shit for us. He's been absolutely incredible against us. He mugged us off against Mowbray last, last time around. And he's mugged Young Dan Thomason off right here for to suffer his first defeat. Goals. The goals coming from, I think it was McIntyre with the header set piece. Tom Ince with the corner, I believe. Bullet had a good goal. Cannot fault it. Second goal. Second half. And, of course, it was ex-Rovers uh, uh, Supremo Junior Hoyle. It's been a long, long, long time since he was wearing the blue and white arse from Blackburn Rovers. But a fantastic strike from the veteran, the Canadian guy, who will be going to Qatar, I'm sure, for the uh, Maple Leafs or whatever they were calling themselves. But a fantastic goal. Uh, one for, uh, 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 you know, it was, it was worthy, worthy to win a game. And then, of course, the other ex-Rovers player on, on, uh, in amongst it for Reading, Lucas Chow, came in. And he smashed it, came off the bench and scored. And again, guess what? If he can get there, if they can get him scoring regular, Reading should be fine. Of course, they are playing with a little bit of some frustrations. Of course, they haven't got the the money, they haven't got the 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 the, the finances to to bring in major signings. But they've already got a talent in a goal scoring machine in Lucas Jar. They've got a jar as well. He wasn't even playing. They were playing with a threadbare squad. You know what I mean? They play with the confidence was low, confidence was, was down low, and of course they play with a threadbare squad and up against a Rovers side whose confidence is high, and of course top of the table just one goal conceded since this, and we got turned over today. We got absolutely turned over. And Reading, in all their credit, were out not even out of second gear. They could have raised their game, and you know what? They probably were thinking, what, what, who are we playing? Who is, who is this team? Okay, where's bloody Anton Tech? Where's you know? Can can the real Blackburn Rovers now come out? I don't know. It was that bad uh, of a display. It's probably uh, one of the worst displays I've seen for Rovers in a little bit of time. I'm not trying to say this is, you know, I'm actually a little bit worried because in all honesty, despite the three games that we started in the league, have we actually played decent football? We've got a little, we've got some, we have been clinical with our chances when they have been presented. But realistically, we've been a counter-attacking side trying to ride the pressure and of course, we've been we've been lucky with it. But today, we didn't even get a chance to to get any counter attacking. Reading were, were clinical, and again, set pieces they bossed us. We looked like midgets, midgets on the the, the umpa lumpers of the Charlie and Chocolate Factory out there. We got out fox, out maneuvered, out fought by everything. The passion was also a little bit embarrassing from Rovers today. I saw two or three examples of players giving up the ghost or waiting for the referee to blow their whistle for an incident that never went. And those little incidents caused uh, or gave Reading opportunities to put some more pressure on us. People need to realise, players need to realise that they fucking got to play to the death, not 
play to the bloody, uh, the thought that the whistle's going to go in their favour. Let's not do this. Let's not have a repeat of this. Let's bounce back at the first attempt. And that first attempt is a monstrous, monstrous game. A game that we're probably going to get embarrassed by. Uh, a team that's going to be up there at the end of it. Sheffield United. A team that's actually spunked us over twice already this season in the transfer market. But bringing in an ex-Malmo guy that should have came in here. And of course, bringing in Reda Kadra as well. So they've spunked us over twice already. They're looking for the hat trick. But hopefully, Yondon Thomason can do something and bounce back. I'm actually going to be quite interesting to see his words uh, to the press from this game because we were absolutely, it was like school, boys against men today. And, and not even that, really. Not really that. It's like, uh, it was like boys against uh, Tina. It was, it was, I don't know. It was just shit. It was very bad. And I don't know when, I don't know. I, I'm really a little bit concerned about where we're going to go from here. And I'm actually going to put some fingers of blame to, 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 the, to the transfer people here. Let's not fucking hang about. You've been, you've been, you've been, you've been stalling or dragging out these transfer deals. Either you've got money or you don't. Put your money where you. And I'm, I'm not trying to spend other people's money, but if you've said from the start we have a healthy budget to work with, we've not really seen much of that. Have we? We've not seen much proof of the pudding. You brought in Smodic, Not really. Not. Re he had one moment in his three three games or so with us so far. Britain's been okay. He's been all right. I'll give you that one. But let's not let's not drag this shit out. You're supposed to have targets. You're supposed to be bringing them in. Let's get them in now. We are threadbare. Threadbare. Playing a 17-year-old who doesn't know his left from his right foot. He doesn't know who he's playing for tomorrow. Is he going to play for Spurs? Is he going to play for Rovers? Let's get that shit sorted out. Let's bury the hatch. Let's get some Rovers some good news. Because today it was a joke. An embarrassment. And to be honest with you, I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned about how we're going to respond to this. Uh, because the games don't ease up. Sheffield United, we're probably going to get humped on that one. Stoke are not far away in the league. They're going to turn us over. Then Blackpool want to do us over as well. So it is not looking good for Rovers. We may still come into this game on Saturday on top of the league. But realistically, performance-wise, we are definitely uh, not uh, champions contenders whatsoever. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to do a deep, dark review on this later on. Right now, I'm going to clear my head. I'm going to go for a walk, walk in the, in the wilderness uh, to see uh, and just calm, calm myself down a little bit. But anyway, that is it. Make sure you subscribe, of course. Smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. Appreciate the love on the watch along. But of course, I'll see you soon in the next one. Until then, guys and gals, we're done.